Be smart. Brush off the online noise. And I'm going to show you how to do that. It's easier than you may think. Because what makes people argue? People argue due to half knowledge and or out of desperation, right? You think you know, someone else does too, and off you go yelling at each other. If both know that the earth is round, for instance, there's no argue. Oh, okay, I don't want to go there. Let's try again. If both know, for instance, that polio and measles, along with many other illnesses, were basically eradicated by vaccines, well, to be honest, I do want to go there. Because the underlying chemistry and what it does to our bodies can absolutely be a little scary, so people are interested. And it's quite easy for anybody to get to a point where they think they know. Yet the medical information is complicated, very complicated. And the truth is, it's only understood completely by people who have devoted their lives from a young age to understanding it and only it. Why would you even try to emulate that? You've got your own life to live, don't you? And if you think that I'm all ivory tower, you ignorant peasant right now, let me tell you, I'm not. I'm here to tell you that you don't need to understand every single facet of every single fact. You just need to know how science works in order to sleep that little bit better at night because you haven't spent your day arguing. Science is a tool. I mean it. A hammer is a tool. You use it for doing things to nails. We can use science to find stuff out about nature. Engineering is a tool too, by the way. Engineering is what takes the discoveries of science and translates them to what we can actually use. Engineering is a complicated tool. Science isn't. Already now, you'll find a few examples on the channel for why I say this, and more are forthcoming for as long as at least some people click on this stuff. What you won't find is the blue pill you can swallow to make your brain larger. I know from experience that different people find different ways into science. The tool is really not difficult at all. You think and you do, and then you think some more and do some more. That's science in a nutshell, but people go about finding this out in their own ways. I'll just give you the opportunity to nudge yourself onto what is the right road for you. You'll walk along it yourselves. If you do that though, I'll make some promises to you. For every step you take, you're going to be even more difficult to fool than you are now, because you'll be smarter about what you know and what you don't know. And again, you'll sleep better because you find yourself doom-scrolling a lot less. In fact, there's a good chance you'll find yourself a more understanding person in general. That's a good thing, right? You know, kindness through knowledge. By the way, am I saying that you should be kind instead of skeptical? Are you supposed to just believe stuff because I tell you to? Of course not. What I'm saying is this. Subscribe, make the bell notify you of new stuff, and listen and watch. Most of all, I hope you'll ponder things a little too, because I'll try to help you get there. I'll show you how to be smart about science, and to be skeptical in a way that doesn't keep you awake at night.